the house on Jamestown Road, up to Dublin, two westerns in a day, Theatre Royal and the Carlton. My father collects me at Eason's, the mind still in Tucson, Arizona. We stop at Mrs. Sweeney's Jamestown Road in Chicor to let the traffic pass before the long, long road to Tullamore. Mrs. Sweeney's eldest daughter carries in a full food tray of her stockings, the loudest sound to my ear. Her suspender clip strokes my thigh as she slides into the settee so near. I forget Randolph Scott, Audie Murphy too. Hope they don't notice the change in me. I stare hard at Harry Worth on the black and white TV. As the adults talk of Lainali, Mukla, Rahan, an execution long ago, the Kerwin murder, secrets that they know. And what a great dancer Barney was, skillful, stylish, full of charm, that after dances he'd hitch home, dancing shoes in brown paper under one arm. The tension between him and his brother Larry, and no one knows why, and despite a clemency petition, Barney waited four long months to die. 2nd of June, 1943, they swung him. Mrs. Sweeney grinned and winked at me. Her daughter squeezed up from the sofa, straightened her skirt, topped up her cups with strong, tanned tea. In darkness, we travelled home, my father and I, the long, long road to Tullamore. Mrs. Sweeney's daughter, the Kerwin brothers, that murder. My head tumbled all that had gone before.